Hey friends, I'm Bridget, a certified sleep science coach and mattress expert here at Sleepopolis. And today I am going to be reviewing the new Emma Climax Hybrid Mattress. I'm gonna put it through a variety of tests and let you know how it performs on our Sleepopolis scorecard. But before we dive in, I want to go over some highlights of this newly launched bed. Emma designed this mattress with two groups in mind, plus size sleepers and couples. So it's super supportive and one of the bounciest mattresses I have tested. It's 11 and a half inches tall with an on top of the bed firm feel. It combines foams and individually wrapped coils with five ergonomic zones to keep sleepers supported. I do wanna say Emma sent us the Climax Hybrid for free to review and to tell you about. And if you do decide to buy this mattress through our link in the description below, we may get a commission, but that never sways our opinions and rather helps us keep these reviews free. And if you do decide to buy this mattress, you're going to get free shipping, a 365 night trial, free returns, and a 10 year warranty. It arrives compressed in a box, so I recommend having a friend help you unbox it and set it up. Our first test can be a really important one, especially if you share the bed with a partner or a pet, checking for motion isolation. So motion transfer is how movement carries from one side of the bed to the other. So if your partner is tossing and turning over there, you don't want those movements to come over here. So we first test it out with our very visual red wine test. I put a glass of wine on one side and had my coworker Amelia move around on the other side to see how it affected it. And you can see that wine moving around. Then I moved around on the other side instead of having the wine there to see how much of my movement she could feel, which she said was also okay. So overall, I'd give it three stars for motion isolation. Next up is our edge support test, which is a measure of how well the perimeter of a mattress supports weight. So this can be really good for couples who wanna use the full surface of the bed or for anyone who likes to sit or sleep near the edge of the bed. To start the test, I sat on the edge and moved around and it felt super supportive and solid here. Then I laid and moved around on the edge of the bed and again, super solid results. There's high density foam wrapped around the perimeter of the Emma Climax and it's doing a great job. So overall, I'd give it five stars for edge support. Now to one of our favorite tests, the pressure map test. So the pressure map uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is building across your body when you lay on a bed. Here's what you need to know when you're looking at the results. Blues and greens are good and are showing low pressure, while oranges and reds are bad and are showing high pressure. You're going to want to see low pressure around your back, hips, and shoulders if you sleep on your side or back. And when I laid on my back, it was all blue, which is great to see. On my side, there was a tiny bit of pressure forming, but nothing too major. So I'd give the Emma Climax five stars for pressure relief for back sleepers and three and a half stars for pressure relief for side sleepers. I'll add it's not really about pressure when it comes to stomach sleeping. We're about to talk about that more next. Now let's go over the different sleeping positions and how I think they all do on this mattress. So no matter your sleeping position, you're going to want to have your spine in alignment. But depending on that position, you'll need different things out of a bed to make it happen. Stomach sleepers need a firm mattress to keep their hips elevated and in line with their shoulders. I think the Emma Climax is a firm mattress and keeps sleepers propped up. So it's a great match for anyone sleeping on their stomach. I'd give it five stars for stomach sleeping. Side sleepers need contouring around their shoulder and hip to prevent pain, and I felt pretty comfortable on my side, but I do typically prefer a softer mattress for side sleeping, so I'd give it four stars here. While back sleepers are looking for a bed that's both comfortable and supportive to keep their spine aligned, I think the Emma Climax does a nice job with this, so I'd give it five stars for back sleeping. Now let's do the responsiveness test, which is basically how easily you can move around on a mattress. So this can be great for combination sleepers or anyone with mobility issues. But Emma also specifically markets this mattress for those couples who do more than just sleep in the bedroom. 
And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is one of the bounciest mattresses I've ever tested. So I'd say it's super easy to move around on and switch positions. So I'd give it five stars for responsiveness. Price is also a really important factor when you're looking for a new mattress. I do wanna point out that mattress prices change a lot and Emma also runs some really great deals. We also have some coupons to help you save more. Just click the link in the description below. But right now at full retail and a queen size, the Emma Climax Hybrid is about $2,000. All right, we have made it through all of our tests. So now I wanna give the Emma Climax Hybrid one final score. Along with everything we've covered in this video, I'm also going to include different components like how well it does with cooling, its materials, its warranty information, and more. And when I put it all together and I average it out, I give it one final score of 4.4 out of five. All right, I hope you found this review helpful. If you wanna learn more about this mattress, other mattresses, or sleep products, just head over to sleepopolis.com. We also have exclusive coupons and sleep health information there too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go, and I will see you next time.